Welcome to the Gear Slum, your one-stop shop for all things guitar culture nonsense. I'm Aaron. I'm Phil. And I'm Cole. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. We slum it hard so you don't have to. To be faithful. We're coming straight out of hot. With the lips of an angel. Yeah. My so brother Aaron. lived in Hawthorne for a while, for like a year. So Hawthorne now it's Heights. been a week since we talked about your JHS no, saga. Uh huh. What's the latest on it? It's you know, been Aaron? one week. Well, I found this guy, Aaron Hubbard. And I messaged him. <laughs> I know we shouldn't go back to this, but I, I brought up again after we recorded how funny it was that we sent them an email saying, hey, you sent this to the wrong person. And he replied saying, very sorry for the mix up. We'll figure out what happened and you'll hear back from us today. <laughs> and then the next day he writes back and says, hey, Aaron, so there was a mix up with your email address and another guy. It's like, yeah, yeah. dude. There was also a mix up with my physical address and that other guy. Like that's what I already told you. Anyways, it's funny to me. It is. It is funny. You know what else is funny? What? Judge Judy. Sometimes. This is our segment called Judge Judy and Executioner. <laughs> so, um <laughs> I watch We've talked about this. I watch, like, I don't know, courtroom videos of people being sentenced when they, like, murdered 10 people and stuff. Just because that's, yes. that's the entertainment that I like to consume in my leisure time. Is things that involve real people being murdered, apparently. No, real real people receiving the consequence. Exactly. For murder. It's not just... Because they're always, like, shocked. But I told you that wasn't me. And it's like, we just had a trial. And a jury <laughs> decided that it was you. Like, what? So so then, after watching enough of those, you start to get recommended full episodes of Judge Judy. <laughs> so instead of only watching Judge Judy when you're homesick from work, like a normal person, or from school. Right. Mostly school, because if you're homesick from work, you probably you know, are an adult and have better things to do. And you've got stuff to do, right? Or if you're retired or something. So, first of all, let's just talk about Judge Judy. Judy Scheinlin is her name, and uh, Dispensing Justice is her game. <laughs> do you know how much she makes? She makes a ridiculous amount of money i think yeah doesn't she yes what is yes, what she you, does what numbers are you seeing i'm not seeing the numbers i just remember my my friend who and this was like 10 15 years ago and she was saying that back then judge judy was making a freaking buttload of money per episode okay so she is because she was already famous then and she's still famous now right she is the highest paid tv star period what oh I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yes. Dude, do you guess know what her how net much, worth is? Guess how, no, first guess, well, if you already looked it up, don't guess. Guess how oh. much she makes a year. That I don't know. I mean, the fact that she's the highest paid TV star, period. Like $13 million? $47 million. <laughs> A year? <laughs> like, how? <laughs> she's not hosting the Super Bowl. She has a daytime, like, how is she making, how is there What's that What's Hot much? Bench? Do you know what Hot Bench is? Ugh. Hot Bench? Because it says that the this is. thing that it says that she gets that for hosting Judge Judy and producing Hot Bench. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'd like to think that it has it. nothing to do producing? with <laughs> the judicial system in any way. Like, it must be some other kind of court show, but it'd be great if it was like a yeah. cooking show or something. And she produces it. She doesn't even star in it. So in 2005, her salary was $15 million per year. 
In 2010, when her contract renewed, her salary was increased to $45 million a year. Wow, oh that's a big jump. Gosh. Which translates into just over 900000 per work day. She works 52 days per year. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. That's like freaking NBA Wait a superstar money. That's $900, okay. That dollars per day. Insane. Fifty. Wait. Her <laughs> work. Is, her. She works fifty-two days a year. Yeah, because they 15. tape. I'm sure they tape. You know, uh, eight episodes in a day or something like that. Yeah. Right. But I'm just saying, like, week. like think about if, beside, like, think about your current the like your current salary. Yeah. If you only did. <laughs> 52 days a year, and then yeah. the rest of the year, you could just do whatever you want yeah, with the salary, salary that you have. by like one seventh. Mm. I'd only be making like 100 grand a year. It'd be crazy. <laughs> um, so, Dude, you can okay. make as much as you make now if you just played the Vegas bus, whatever, desert bus. <laughs> yeah, if I played <laughs> desert bus. <laughs> if all the charity from Desert Bus for Hope went to me instead of to the sick children or whatever it goes to. Check out Desert Bus for Hope, guys. It's for good cause. So, oh, that, man. this just blew my mind. I was planning, well, th that, th the highest paid TV star, period. So, Judge Judy is still on the air. It's in his 23rd season. How old is she? Guess. How tall is she? <laughs> Interesting questions. She's very short, I think. she She's just like... Vin Diesel, she's known for being unusually short. She's six feet tall, <laughs> but she's six feet tall. <laughs> she's listed as six foot four. Dude, okay, okay, this, okay, so I must have been mixing up Vin Diesel and Judge Judy, which is an honest mistake. <laughs> um, she, she's five foot one. That's pretty short. That is very short. My wife is less tall than that. My wife, My wife is very short. But your wife also... is shorter than that. Yeah, you're also like very short, so it makes sense, right? So you guys are yeah. like a normal. I'm couple. also short. Yeah, <laughs> it's not I'm like you're a freaking two. freak of nature next to her. <laughs> We're like Shaq and Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would or say the Rock and Kevin Hart, but yeah, more like Shaq. So okay, so Judge Judy, uh, guess how old she is. I already looked it up. I know. All I'm going to say 72. Oh, so close. 76. Oh. Um, yeah. She's trombone age. Works 50 days a year. Makes f how much? 47 million a year. This is all just blowing my mind. She's, her net <laughs> and, worth is 420 million. And I know more about Judge Judy than your average, you know, American <laughs> citizen. How long so, has she been doing Judge Judy? 23 years. Since the 90s? Really? Yeah. 1996. That's when she started, 96? Huh. So here's another years. crazy thing. Okay, so the... Is so, she an actual judge? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So she, she was a she judge... She was a corporate in, lawyer, and then she was a criminal court judge Aaron? appointed by Ed Koch. Koch. Ed, Ed Koch. It said Koch. Watch, Watch your mouth. mouth. Is it Koch? Yes. <laughs> she was a family court judge, so that was like... So you can tell oh, yeah. whenever the disputes are over, like child support or custody or whatever, she knows very much what she's talking about. So another interesting thing, well, there's nothing more interesting than the fact that Judge Judy makes $47 million a year. <laughs> uh, there's nothing more interesting on the planet than that fact. Yeah. But her her bailiff, she's had the same bailiff since day one, and he's just kind of this like unassuming. What does that guy make? He's this unassuming looking guy, and she calls him Bird because his name is Petri Hawkins Bird, B Y R D. Mm -hmm. He is basically her show was picked up. She was offered a show in 1996, and this guy had been a bailiff for her at one point when she was a family court judge and just wrote her a letter congratulating her on getting picked up and said, If you ever need a bailiff, my uniform still fits. So this is just some <laughs> rando dude who's now worth, you know, tens of millions of dollars probably. Is he? I or is he so. getting like the freaking shaft cuz every every year the producers are like, "Man, you're replaceable. Don't even No. He makes about a million dollars a year. 
it's not bad. for standing there. And he also works for yeah. He rarely says anything. Yeah, he probably gets more. He gets more money per word than she does. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> there you because go. she says a lot of words. According to yeah. Wikipedia, Bird is one of the wealthiest bailiffs ever. <laughs> 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 Stupid. Which is like, yeah. <laughs> Which is the strangest. I mean, that list can't be that huge. Right. <laughs> but also, the wealthy he, bailiffs. He makes as much in the entire season as she does in one day. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which, on one hand, that has to be depressing. But on the other hand, the fact that he basically set himself up with a million dollar a year job by sending this lady a letter. A kind saying, letter. Hey, congrats yes, congrats exactly. on your new job. But literally, he, like, he doesn't, like, I'm not sure I could. If I heard a recording of his voice, I wouldn't be able to like pick it out. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he never talks. You'd, you'd recognize if you'd watch as much Judge Judy as I have. You recognize because <laughs> he, he always says the he, same things. This the next case is case number blah 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 on the docket. Uh, parties, please take your seats or something like that. Like he says. Oh, okay. He does all that. So I that thought guy. it was a voiceover. No, no, no. He's the guy in. The, he's standing next to her the whole time. He's the bailiff. So, like in theory, if somebody, if something like physically got out of hand, yeah, he's like the court officer. Yeah, he's the. Yeah, he's the. I mean, have He'd you not? Cop. Have you not spent hundreds of hours watching courtroom video, Phil? What's wrong with you? So he not recently, but because it's a TV show, like nothing ever gets out of hand because the stakes are never that high, and people are like, I don't know if they really care. And that they're much not about putting people case, on the show that are like, I'm gonna kill him. They're not. Yeah, like very right. few people that have teardrop tattoos are going on Judge Judy. Nobody's like nobody's family died because they testified on Judge Judy, you know. Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, man, Judge this, Judy, man. Dude, good for her. But like I don't like it still must just be on network TV in the middle of the day. Yeah. Yes. Like what channel She's is it? It's on like um I feel like it's on like <laughs> UPN or something. Oh, uh, well, Remember it was UPN. On... <laughs> It's on CBS. Apparently, it's, it's on, on UPN, C- It's but... on CBS. Okay. Well, that's the distributor, but like, I believe it. Yeah, I'm not shocked at all. That's wild. I mean, I on one hand, I'm saying like, man, how's it still on the air? And yet, I'm you know laying in bed watching <laughs> you, it on my you're phone, feverishly so, like, watching every, every yeah, episode. So it's not that weird, I guess. So uh, I started watching these episodes, and it's funny because these accounts pop up and then seemingly disappear. They upload full episodes of Judge Judy with, oh, dang, I should have written it down. But one of them, like the graphic says something Judy, and it's in a different language. <laughs> so, it's, Dude, we you know. need to sue somebody collectively. Oh, man. Oh. Can we sue Aaron Hubbard? And then we need to <laughs> go on the show. Dude, we should you sue sh- Katerba. No, you should <laughs> sue JHS. For what? For being uh, dill holes. For, like, pissing you off, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, I mean, based on my experience with Judge Judy, that'd probably be enough to qualify. It's too much. And we could do, like, not, a whole slapstick routine while we're in there, you know? I did not make this Mimi. I did not share this Mimi. <laughs> and I did not. Wait, what What are the three Aaron's things? going to correct us. This is, this, this, this is, is a Mimi. This is a Mimi. Best part. What is it? I did not make this meme. I did not something, and I did not share this meme. This meme. <laughs> I did not share this meme. This is a meme. It's it's make, it's make share. Oh, I know it's make something share. I think. Is it? <laughs> Well now we're all, now I'm just gonna go watch. Oh, it. I I did not I did not start this meme. Start. <laughs> start. Okay. I did not share this meme. I did not. Oh, so there's bird meme. right there, right standing next to the meme lady. See? <laughs> yeah. He's just like a bird. Got a goatee. I did it's not like start this meme. Good looking gentleman. This meme, and I did not share this meme. <laughs> Are you watching the video, Aaron? Yeah. Because there's Bird I mean, right there. Yeah, I saw him. And once in a while, it, like, the the only real, he'll interject sometimes because Judge Judy will be like, 
comically ignorant about something like what is uber i don't understand what is uber and he'll like interject oh yeah this is legit like it's an actual thing you know (laughs) like this one this lady was trying to explain the concept of a prepaid credit card to her and she just could not no way yeah it was way funny Uh, because like she's an intelligent woman obviously but she's also 76 years old (laughs) yeah yeah, and, and like not... if I got paid forty nine, forty seven million dollars a year, I wouldn't know about prepaid credit cards either. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'd be like having people murdered for my pleasure if I made that much money. <laughs> Anyways. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start this segment called uh Judge Judy and Executioner, as we talked about. Mm-hmm. Where I'm gonna present so, this title. So you know that movie's... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, say your thing first because mine's dumb. Oh. I'm going to present a few cases to you guys, and then you're going to guess how Judge Judy ruled. Okay. Ooh, this is great. This Wait. <laughs> you brought this up last episode, and then this was your plan? <laughs> this was your plan? No, why this didn't wasn't we do my this plan last... initially. I, this idea just occurred to me last night, and so that's why oh. I'm not fully okay, prepared. Okay, let me say this before you do that. You know that movie Dark Phoenix is coming out? Yes. Do you remember um, a movie starring Ben Stiller, Mystery and Men. others? Mystery Men, yeah. Do you remember his? Is that name really it? That? Mystery Men, yeah. I was joking. There's that part where he goes, his name is like Dirk, Dirk something, and he goes, "What is your name?" He's like, "It's Dirk, Dirk, Dirk Dark, Dirk Dark Phoenix." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of when I see. Oh, man. <laughs> that show is underappreciated. I think it has like kind of a cult following now. Mystery Men? Yeah. But that was, that so was a good movie. Funny. It's really funny. Yeah, it's way funny. Kel. Kel is like <laughs> he's invisible, but yeah. he's only invisible if no one looks at him, <laughs> including himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I look at myself, I become visible again. <laughs> and nobody and they're all just like very it's like this. It's like this group of friends that like they all know they're losers, so nobody's nobody's gonna like make yeah. fun of each other because it's like yeah, yeah, we're all in this together, you know. Like the fat kid doesn't make fun the of the Raja. kid that has glasses. It all makes no sense. Furious, I'm furious. I'm Dirk, Dirk, Dark. Ugh. Okay, I love him. So the, our first case on the docket today. We have a couple who is divorced, but are still on very good terms. They have joint custody of their children. And oftentimes they will even like, like the mom would come over to the dad's house and watch the kids there or whatever. Oh, that's Mm. sweet. And so in one of these instances, they, uh, they had a cat that got sick the the father owned the cat i mean you know as much as you can own an animal can like can we really own anything i don't know mm-hmm. and the cat got sick while the mom had the cat and the kids and the mom took the cat to the vet and had the cat healed or whatever you know <laughs> <She's got laughs> to maybe it was a got witch it. doctor i don't know <laughs> and it cost like twelve hundred dollars or something like that. And the husband, so not the ex husband, the father of the children sued the mother of the children. Keep in mind these these are these are two people who have gotten divorced, but they've stayed good friends on good terms. Mm-hmm. He sued her for the twelve hundred dollars. Because it was a waste of money. Because cats cost way less than that. And she should not have wasted her money on on getting this cat repaired. Because they could have just bought another cat for less money than that. Okay. And. Cat repair. Yeah, for cat repair. For parts and service. Oh, gosh. So, he was suing her for that. How do you think Judge Judy ruled? Wait, because so it, I'm sorry. Was this made, his money? He, yeah, she made him pay for it. Even though he well, didn't. How, well, how can she make him pay for it? Bill, I wish I had that detail for you. <laughs> 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 I 
They're not married. Why are you why are you hiding things from us? Oh no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Crap. I screwed it up. She I'm trying to I'm picturing it in my head and picturing which side they're standing on cuz the plaintiff always stands on the left side and the defendant stands mm-hmm. on the right side. She was suing him for the cost of healing her cat. Right. Oh, he was saying, "No, I'm not paying." And I'm she's not like, pay "I'll sue you." Cuz I would rather just have the cat die then heal it because I can buy it. which by the way is also a Norm McDonald joke that's pretty funny. He's like, Yeah, I had a cat that had a heart attack, which like I didn't even know cats had hearts, but he's like, the doctor said it was gonna cost three thousand he's like, the good news is or the bad news is it's gonna cost three thousand dollars to uh, you know, fix your cat. And the good news is it's just a cat. It's <laughs> like, Yeah, you know how many cats I can buy for three thousand dollars? And you know, it's this comically heartless character that he's making, and then yeah. apparently this person actually exists. So, so he's suing. I his... mean, three thousand dollars is a lot for a cat. Yeah, sorry. This cat. was like I should I should look up the actual. Uh, I'll be better prepared next time we record. But, um, so so she is suing him to say I paid to fix your cat because it's your cat, and obviously that's what you would do. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what yeah. a normal person would do. And he's saying, well, I didn't want you to. He's I like, never told nah, you to. nah, fam. He's you like, didn't ask me. You just jumped and paid. And now yeah. I'm not paying this. He was like, and this is his a mind, vet bill. Like the obvious. Did, yeah. Create this vet bill. <laughs> I did not start this vet bill. I did not start this and vet I bill. Will not, I will not pay this vet bill. This vet bill. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I believe um our judge judy would say um he does not have to pay wait was there a counter that's my that's my ruling i can guarantee there's a counter suit because there always was but i can't remember <laughs> what it was in this that's no, my I don't favorite think part there was. is there's always a counter suit because she's and it's always and she usually <laughs> dismisses him like very quickly like yeah. First of all, I'm going to dismiss your like, you're annoying me because you're a ridiculous human being. <laughs> like, <laughs> and and yeah, so no, I'm pretty sure there was not a countersuit here, even though there almost always is. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that she's going to side with the former wife. So you're you and Phil disagree. Yes. Mm-hmm. OK, so Aaron, you are correct. Boom. She Crap. said that obviously, and it was a very interesting because he has to pay. Yeah. Cause it's his Why? cat. And it was obviously the right decision to get to fix the cat because it's like, no. you know, the kids are already having to deal yep. with their parents being divorced and now Whatever. they're just going to let their cat die over money. So yeah, I, yep. that one isn't like an, I mean, if it was an obvious case, this, it would make this game less interesting, obviously. Um, but it so was, there was this. Oh, go ahead. It was a rare case of somebody on Judge Judy actually being like a likable human being in any way. <laughs> Usually they're just like the absolute worst people on the planet. <laughs> but the guy, like, it was so because he was very like he he never said a negative word about his wife or his ex wife. You know, he was just like, yeah, I just can't picture spending that much money for a cat when cats just mm. aren't that expensive. And Judge Judy even says like, man, I really want to like you, but I just can't like. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you have to be able to see it from from your kid's point of view that obviously you're it's not worth... paying for the cat. You're paying to keep the cat. Yeah, you're paying to keep this thing that is no longer just a possession, you know. Yeah. Like it's a part of your family or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that was a that was a pretty interesting one. Again, because these two people usually like they would they would accuse the other party of anything if they thought it might win them the case, you know. They'd accuse him of being like some freaking Nazi sympathizer or something if they thought it would win them their four hundred dollar case, and mm-hmm. in this case, the guy like had nothing negative to say about her, so that was pretty great. <laughs> okay, what were you gonna say, Aaron? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> I I was in this I'm in this group and there was a post about um people who treat their pets like children. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it was saying like how that's bad. And so Mm -hmm. I commented, I'm going to read it in full. It was, I think Uh, I saw it. I said, I love my pets. 
I would do a lot for them. But if I had to choose between saving all my pets and saving some random kid I'd never even seen, well, that's no choice at all. Sorry, kid. <laughs> like, That's I pretty don't... good, right? Aaron, you are an excellent word twister. <laughs> uh, and then I found this post from, this is in my memories, from 10 years ago today. 2009. Give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he'll assume you're imposing some sort of weird father-son dynamic on your relationship and true to form will start resenting you and harboring <laughs> murderous edible urges. Ooh. Yikes. Also pretty good. Mm. But I think I stole that from someone. Oedipal? I think that's that um, like Teddy a, Wayne's strange is that like proverbs from the root Oedipus okay. Rex. It's like Oedipus. It's like it's a Greek. Uh, no, it's sometimes people edible. say eatable. No, it's, it's, that's it's, wrong. It's eatable. Some people say edible and that's wrong too. Some people say, some people say, some people say eatable. Like, is this eatable? You know, inflammable and flammable <laughs> mean the same thing? That's one of uh, Teddy Wayne's strange proverbs. So I think part of it, like, yeah. I get that some people Unpopular are very proverbs. annoying and they won't shut up and they use term like fur babies and, oh, I'm the mommy of this beautiful fur baby and mm. I love being a mom and blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, I can see <laughs> that that's annoying, but, like, that doesn't mm. mean that... Oh, you shouldn't <laughs> love your pets because you don't have kids, and my kids are better than your. Like, it's like some weird competition thing that, like, oh, I I created humans and they're better yeah. than your non-human animals. I agree. Be dumb. It's dumb. People are dumb. Also, but. Like, just okay, let but wait a minute. That. Here's the thing: like, they don't actually think that their pets are human. We all do. I, I think, like, if if there was like record of all of the crazy, weird, neurotic, dumb things that I mean, every person this podcast, did. The last ten like, minutes every, of this podcast, each person has something a record, weird and neurotic. Weird and neurotic things that I do. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, I. I I think here's where the the incongruency comes in is when people like talk about it like those things are like oh yeah everybody would agree with me that this is like a fine thing. So the fact that you're like you have some embarrassment and shame towards your love for Judge Judy <laughs> is normal. That's right that is correct. You should, right? Mm -hmm. But like if you were like, you know, Judge Everyone Judy, else everyone's Judge favorite Judy's pastime, design. everyone's favorite show, like, everyone loves Judge Judy, right? Yes. No, totally. we don't. You see what yep. I'm saying? I'm sorry. I just had... No, my... Okay. I don't know if you can <laughs> no, hear don't say secondary sorry. conversation <laughs> happening <laughs> where my wife came in and said, hey, are you taking Johnny to a soccer game? Because you have to leave right now, and we're now 28 minutes into a one-hour episode. So... I may be in trouble. Oops. Wait a minute. No. Does that mean you're leaving and Aaron I'd rather and I have leave to do my family than my podcast? <laughs> Thirty-two minutes by ourselves. I'll, I'll sue my wife for interrupting our podcast. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I. I do you have also, another, one yes, more case. I do have us? one more case. But Sponsored first, by I have Sinus another Wave. very. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Do we want to talk about... Check out Sinusoid for cables. I'm pretty sure on the set of Judge Judy, they exclusively use Sinusoid cables. <clears throat> they exactly. do. And if they don't, they cables. should. <laughs> Go to their custom shop on Sinusoid. If you need like a three-foot XLR cable for your podcast rig... Hit them up style. That's the place to do it. So, Hit them up. Make it happen. There was this... So Stop. it's small claims court. Drop. Where Judge Judy is set. Shut it down. Open up shop. I'm getting in more trouble. Progressively more trouble. Do I need to stop recording? Okay, give me a couple minutes. You guys talk about something else. 
Um, this episode okay. is also sponsored by Can we call the raise, Mama? Pelican Noise Works. Phil, do you still have your Pelotar? I do. Tell us about it. It is, it is prominently placed uh, in the upper right corner of my pedal board. Um, and I do, I do love it. I wish I had more. Um, you know what? I w- here's what it is. I wish I had the guts to use it live. I I always like I always turn it on when I'm playing by myself. Uh-huh. Because I love the way it sounds. Yeah. But I feel As like you should. In all of my in all of my um times playing in front of someone else, I feel like it's the like the rage of the sound mm-hmm. feels um feels too too intense but part of that is like my <clears throat> my playing style i think cuz like i don't do any <laughs> i don't do any like i bet i bet i could do some super cool stuff if i knew how to like you should single like if i if i knew how to pluck single strings <laughs> at a time you're like I'm Joe sure. Strummer what you're like Joe Strummer, I yes I just bang on all of the strings. Mm-hmm. You have to hit them all at once. Yes, I just smash everything all the time. So at home, it's like this like super aggressive wall of noise that I love, but I just feel like that's too much to put <laughs> on any <laughs> on any crowd of any size. Although I am a known musical terrorist so maybe that's exactly what i need you should try have you tried doing like volume swells with it yes but i never i never actually do that live either oh, Philip. volume swells are my favorite thing to do alone but in any <laughs> setting like at church whenever i do it <laughs> my worship leader turns and looks at me and goes no don't do that <laughs> so that's why he's like Painted you into the corner and like <laughs> stifled your creativity. That's true. That's true. What's his name? My worship leader? Yeah. Uh, Howard McMahon. Uh, Howard, if you're listening, let it rain. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think he's listening. <laughs> I don't think he listens to this. I'm sure he's not. He has never, he has never once, he, <sighs> I've, I've had multiple conversations about, the podcast with him and every time he kind of he goes oh <laughs> <laughs> which is the thing which is the th- it's kind of like it's like oh did you know i'm a painter oh like that's what it <laughs> that's what it's like <laughs> you know it's a oh I'm, it's a wonderful that must be a wonderful hobby for you Please stop talking about it. That's what I think it means. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> how many? How many people? How many people know you have a podcast? Um, no. I will, I don't know. Maybe like ten. Who like ten l- actually know that and like yes. They, not, we're not, not talking like, about listen. They're not, we're not talking no, yeah, about listening. They're to not, it. but they're not like surprised every time they hear it. It's not like people that I've told. But, like, there's some people that I know I, for a fact I've mentioned it, but every time it, they hear it again, they're like, "Oh, really? I didn't know that." <laughs> uh, like, "Oh, that's cool. You have a podcast." <laughs> yeah, it's so hey, in- guys, insignificant that you have to keep telling them. Uh, thanks yeah. for friends. You have to keep reminding them. <laughs> Hello. Yes, unfortunately. Oh, you guys keep going. Okay. I'm going to go save my okay. marriage. All right. I don't want to end up on Judge Judy. All right. Thanks for friendship. Thanks for soccer. Do you want the chocolate one? <laughs> Judge Judy. Um, okay, cool. We love oh, you. Yeah, so, Thanks for friendship. So, like, a lo- a few, but there's, I know, um, a few people will, like, bring it up. Like, there's, like, two or three that will mention it without me mentioning it first. And those are the only ones. Pedal, this episode is a nightmare. I apologize. 
Okay, I'm leaving for real now. Did you say baby SpongeBob? <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait. Are you still there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not I think he's gone. <laughs> I have a. I had I had a game prepared. Uh-huh. <laughs> we could still play it. You just can't. You can't sabotage me anymore. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um okay wait. Hey, let first, me read but... let me read this section from the script of Mystery Men first. Wait, it's... I want you to finish telling me Oh, yeah. The people that know you have a podcast. So, um probably mostly people that I like play music with. So like my buddy Victor knows um my friend Oma, who doesn't really play guitar. He'll like he has a t shirt, he owns our t shirt and he's just like a very supportive guy. Um, mm. And that's probably it. <laughs> I mean, like my family and stuff knows, but they don't like talk about it or care about it. <laughs> yeah. Same. But it's I mean, my... once in a while, I'll, like tell my wife like, Oh, this is happening because of the podcast. And she's like, Oh, well, that's crazy. Like, why? <laughs> 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 like I showed her, uh, the thing that we're doing with the guy. Oh, yes. You know, a picture of it. And she's like, She's like, I was like, and he's putting our logo on it. She's like, what do you mean putting it on it? Like how? <laughs> I'm like, like it's printed on it. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> I yeah, I told a friend. Um, I showed a friend the other day uh, the picture that you sent. Uh. Uh-huh. Um. Oh, this. I can't really tell the story if I'm trying to keep it a secret. That's all right. He is. He is familiar. <laughs> with aspects of what that person does. He doesn't care. I mean, he is, he is aware that we do a podcast. Yeah. That I'm that I have a podcast, but he and he doesn't listen. Yeah. And he plays music. And um so when I said, "Hey, check this out." And I and I showed him and he goes he goes, "Wait. That's your logo?" And I go, "Yeah." And he goes, and he he's putting it on that. <laughs> That's the guy and I from go, the thing. And I go, I go, yeah. And he goes, he goes, whoa. It, and then he was like, wait, does he do that for other people? And I go, no, he he doesn't do it for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> when we first met him, like at Nam, because I, I was gone and like I came back to work and people were asking about it and like no one cared about anything and then i mentioned that we met him and they're like oh from from that thing yeah that he does <laughs> yeah they're like wow that's really cool yeah yeah same <laughs> there was a couple of people that were like wait really <laughs> this is a really weird conversation for our listeners i don't know but yeah, once we'll... you know you'll know and it'll be great come back yeah later and listen back or remember this so monica and mr furious are talking and she says what's your monica name? <laughs> what's your name and he goes, do you mean my secret identity? Because I couldn't. No, I just mean your name. My name. Um. Wow. Okay. It's Phoenix. Phoenix Dark. Dirk. Phoenix. Dark Dirk. <laughs> I was christened Dirk Steele and then I changed it to Phoenix. Forget about it. It's okay. It's Roy. My name is Roy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I love that movie. That is funny. Should I do? Let's. Um, should I do the game? Yeah, let's talk about this game. Okay, so this game, this is a game called Guess That Review. No Google and allowed. This what? I'm just saying no Google allowed. Yeah. Um. Okay. This first device. This first uh, review is by Gary Clements. It's a one-star review. It is titled, Poor Quality on New Ones. <laughs> January 24th, 2019. So, pretty recent, right? Okay. January 4th? January 24th. 24th, 2019. Yeah, that is pretty recent. Okay. And the review is as follows. I bought not one, but two. I had to return them both because they 
popped horribly. <laughs> I ended up setting, I ended up settling on a Boss CS3. It's okay. okay. At least the build quality can be counted on. The legendary pedal name was a dismal, and I mean dismal, failure for me. <laughs> and I said the name of the competitor pedal yeah, because is it, the review's so short. Is it the... I feel like it has to be like the Dynacomp, MXR Dynacomp. It is. Okay. You are correct. Oh, yeah. One point for Cole. What was the one that he bought? Oh, this the boss one. Yeah. Yeah. One point for Cole. Good job. One Cole. point for Cole. <laughs> um, it's a goal. We'll call that a goal for Cole. A goal for Cole? Yeah. Okay. Next one. This is um, a two-star great. review. Okay. Weird Little Pedal. April 27th, 2015. Bought this for a buddy's birthday. He didn't like it either. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's what up, jerks? Oh, Whoa! My gosh. <laughs> Thanks for uh, ruining our audio quality here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Hey, go through a drive-through. <laughs> Driving in the rain on the way to my kid's soccer game. They're playing in the rain. Yep. That's pretty hardcore. What do you think we're a bunch of panty wastes up here? I'm sorry, what? Well, you don't camp in the in the rain, so. <laughs> hey, Johnny, say hi. Hi. Hi, Johnny. Hi. It's his last game of the season. Ooh, oh, that's a big deal. Nice. What's your record? What's the record? It's so worth far? it's worth a thousand dollars to me to save this game. It's worth more than just money, you know. Just like a cat. And not just not just normal money, like Judge Judy money. Exactly, forty-seven million dollars a year. <laughs> Dude, that's like so much money. It's truly insane. Cool. Thank okay. you for joining us. I Where, um, should, I, should I hang up or should I keep talking to you guys? You should do, you should one, do one ad, ad with, us. with us. Yeah. Do yes. Okay. So, so we're doing uh, we're doing guess that review. Okay. And uh, the review is as follows. Um, okay, this is by J A says. J A says. <laughs> J A says. You can't, you can't make fun of them for spelling words properly. Well, I'm not sure. That's his name. So it's says says. Dude, Judge Judy makes more money per year than Mike Trout. Okay. Yeah, a comically overpaid player. Well, he's not overpaid, but just. All right. Sorry. Okay. Very Here, highly paid. This is a two-star review titled Weird Little Pedal, April 27th, 2015. Bought this for a buddy's birthday. He didn't like it either. Now I have it, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I like how he says I didn't like it either as if he owned yeah. it first. If you want a... And then I... I Maybe he means like he didn't like it either. Maybe. If you want a effects name, buy a dedicated effects name. If you want <coughs> if you want another effects name, buy a dedicated effects name. Ditto another effects name. <laughs> I bought this thing hoping it would be able to recreate the sounds I was hearing on the pedal brand website in my mind with the exception of one setting where you can create a sort of dry chalky saxophonic vibe what? this pedal mostly squawks makes unpleasant ear splitting noises and has been relegated to decorating my pedal board was it a bit crusher seems to be very well made i appreciate the quote analog sound but i would highly recommend testing one of these units out before you go laying down coin <laughs> it's a weird little pedal hmm. huh, huh. is it a bit crusher is that what the the it is not a bit crusher is that what the earthquake or bit crusher is called or what is it bit machine or... bit commander bit commander is it a bit lieutenant? 
No. Uh, <laughs> so it's something that does like multiple things, sort of. The rainbow machine? Not a rainbow machine. It's a li- He says it's a little. Is it? Is it overly little? Is it smaller than a standard? It is not smaller than a standard pe- pedal size. How many foot switches does it have? Just one. Okay. Does it have like a an effects toggle to switch between different kind of effects? Ooh, good question. Um, no, there is no toggle switch. Does it have any kind of switch to switch between effects, or do they all basically just operate at once? There's one foot switch. Now ask me how many knobs. How many knobs are there? Five. They? But is there a selector? Is there any way to select between different effects? What? What? Is there is there a way to distinctly is there like a blend knob between s- the two effects? Switch between different effects or yeah, or blend them? Or is it just a thing that kind of has like a wide range? Well, the the variation in sounds comes from turning the knobs different ways. Does that answer your question? No. Okay. I mean, <laughs> he's saying it does. Unless the you're pedal like hiding two something. Distinct types. The... <laughs> Did you hear that? Saying. Okay, I missed it all too. So <laughs> here's the types of yes. yes. Is that fair to say, Phil? I didn't hear anything you said, sir. He said, "Does the pedal do two kinds of effects?" Oh effects. crap! Does it do? Does it do two types of effects? Well, this man says that it does. J A says, claims it does. Is it like a uh, some kind of ring modulator? No. Is it a flash? No, it's not a flashback. Is it? Is it a delay that also has no. reverb built into it? <laughs> so no, you, it's do, like... do you disagree with his premise that it does two distinctly different effects? Well, I I don't I don't know because I've never played one, and but I'm almost positive both of you guys have. Oh, that's a clue. Is it a, some kind of fuzz? Yes. Is it a Pelotar? No. Is it a Big Muff with Tone Wick? Is it an Octave Fuzz? Is it an Octave um, Fuzz? Is it a Joyo Voodoo? It is not a Joyo. Did you say it is an Octave Fuzz? <sighs> I don't Okay. I don't know that it is for sure, but he the and and I'm looking at the knobs and there's nothing that says octave. Has five knobs. Standard pedal enclosure size? Yes. Is it from what you would describe as a boutique company? <sighs> um don't get exasperated, <sighs> Phil. Just answer the question. <laughs> I feel like it's um I'm uh, crap, I'm not sure. I this is one of those questions that you guys are going to be really mad at me cuz I don't know. No, I'm only um, asking for your opinion. I'm going Okay, my opinion is that it it's a it, company that you could argue could be called boutique and also not boutique. Is that? That's what I th- think. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking like a, like even EHX maybe, but like ZVEX, that type of caliber. Is it a ZVEX pedal? Yes. Oh, is it a ZVEX octave? Fuzz, uh, fuzz factory. Fuzz factory. Two points for Cole. It is fuzz factory. <laughs> so what, what are the effects that he said? Okay, yeah, so the fuzz factory is not an octave fuzz. So he says, <laughs> if you want a fuzz box, buy a dedicated fuzz box. If you want an octavo, buy a dedicated octavo. Ditto distortion octavo. pedal. It's an octavo. Did they make a ditto distortion pedal? No, I think he means in he. I think he means same same with a distortion pedal. I think that's what he's trying to say. Yes, I got that. Octavo. I don't know why he says Octavo because those controls are like not a on there. Super villain. 
Maybe he's talking about like Octavio pedal, which is that's like the Dunlop octave fuzz. But Jimi again, Hendrix. there's no octave on this, right? Jimmy Hendrix. I don't Octavio. know. You guys have both played one, right? Um, I I haven't played a fuzz factory. I may. Oh, you I haven't I played one like at Guitar Center once. Um, but it oh, it's not an octave fuzz, but I think it does do like crazy kind of like harmonic stuff. Here are the controls. The the five knobs on on these bad boys. Mm-hmm. There's volume. Mm-hmm. There's gate. Yeah. There's comp. There's drive, and then the fifth one is stab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stab, which is like um, I don't know exactly what it is. Stab is probably like some attack control or something like that. I think it's I think it's short for stability. Oh, interesting. Actually, so it's like like stabbing attack. It's like a bias or something. Stab. <laughs> Some dumb. Some, Some dumb like dumb. that. Some dumb like, like stab. All right, Cole. Two okay, last two. review. This review. What? Okay, should I go? It's it's up to you. Or should I do this last one? I already dropped my kid off, so I can just stay in here for an hour. I don't have to watch this game. I just have to do it. Here. I'm not trying to win a freaking parenting medal here or something. I know. Your base level was just, I need to save my marriage. That's Whoa, it. Whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking on the, I'm looking on the ZVEX website at all the different uh-huh. Fuzz Factory options. You can get a Fuzz Factory clear. <laughs> what does that mean? It just comes in plastic. It's like a plastic oh. enclosure, a clear plastic enclosure. That's perfect for stepping on. <laughs> Amazing. So, would you guys agree that it's like one of those kind of like it's not really boutique, but it sort of is? Um, I would say that Zvex is still. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I would. I would say that. I would say that they're closer than some others, but. But yeah, they're probably not operating out of a garage. Yeah. When I, I was, and yeah. Uh, Actually, uh, who makes the who makes the Zen Drive or the, the full tone? They're like like at one point they were boutique and now they're big enough, you know. Yeah, is it like, at, like some point at some point JHS won't, won't seem boutique either? You know? Right, I don't think they do already. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I see that. If they've got so much money that they can afford to just mail people pedals that they didn't order <laughs> that's not boutique that's like freaking judge judy money right there so dude there's there are okay i'm looking at the fuzz factory there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten different fuzz factory options Wow. Like models. Including the clear one. There's clear, there's Fuzz Factory Vertical, Fuzz Factory Silicon, Vertical, Hybrid Vertical, Fuzz Factory 7, <laughs> Fuzz Factory Vexter, Fuzz Factory US Vexter, Fuzz Factory, Fat Fuzz Factory Vexter, and Fat Fuzz Factory. Okay. That's crazy. Dude, quit being such a fat fuzz factory. <laughs> Do you have, one, you have more? one more? Or two yes, more? I have one more one, one more review. Here we go, here we go. This is by DY. DY Hill. It's a, it's a one star review, and the title of the review is Fake? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> and the review oh, February fifteenth, two thousand fourteen. The review is as follows. It is not making any change to the sound of my bass. Yes. I had the power and the red light was on. I tried changing. I tried chanting. Okay. C H A N I N G. I tried chanting. chanting. I tried chaining volume tone and the sustain and still didn't do anything. Compressor. Now there's a, there's a, uh, a one comment on this review. This is by Mangus. HP and the comment is 
Are you using the dry out or effect out output? The dry out, the dry output will not have any changes to the original signal. Hmm. That'd be pretty great if he's using the dry output on it. Oh my gosh. Does it, does it just have three knobs? Um, yes, it only has three knobs. Is it a Let me read, compressor? It is not a compressor. Let me, re, let me read a uh, oh, compressor. Let me read one more. This one is by JR. It's a one star review. Um, brand name does it again. All caps. February 4th, 2013. Pedal made strange and unpleasant noises from the pots. No idea how it passed, passed inspection. I called, brand name, to chat, was sent to voicemail, left a message, never heard back. Quality control and custom ser customer service at brand name are clearly not priorities. Pedal went home. Brand name lost another customer. Amazon returns was awesome and trouble free. Hmm. Sustain knob isn't one of the isn't like one of the knobs on a big muff. The sustain knob is it a big muff? Yeah, it is. But which one? Base big muff. It is a base big muff. Oh, the dry out. yeah, that makes sense. And it makes sense because a normal big muff doesn't have a dry out, obviously. Yeah. But wait, did you say what? What? Um, base big muff. Electro harmonic uh, base big muff. Ooh, Ooh points to Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't feel so good when it's going the other way, does it? <laughs> now wait, do they? Okay, so I know when I was clicking around. There are two different bass big muffs by Electro Harmonics. There's the big one, and then there's the small one. What's the difference? Do you guys know? Is there? I mean, one of them. Do they have the same name? Bass or is it the Nano? Muff, Nano, isn't it? One of them is Nano or Micro. Or... Right. Oh, um, here. Let me click. Yeah, the Nano. Their claim is that it's the same, but it's it's like there. I'm sure there are people that disagree with that. Yeah. yeah why would they sell the the old one? in like the big con enclosure. If the it's... Same, it's the same. They have three different big muff pies that are just on, in theory are the same exact pedal. They sell, they still sell the normal big box, big muff. They sell a big muff nano, which is like a, the normal EHX enclosure size, like the little one. And then they sell a big muff, something that's like in the middle. Uh, I mean, there's like so many big muffs. Yeah. Then there's like the one with the tone wicker and the, you know, what's, what's funny, funny is that, that seems, seems to be, be electro harmonics. Like that's kind of their jam is making different, the same pedals in different size electro uh, enclosures. Yeah. And then like, just being like, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> okay. So there's, I'm going to read you all the big muffs I can find. Fine. Memory males are there. There's, there's uh, base, base big muff big pie. pie. Or, there's big muff pie, big muff pie with tone wicker. There's deluxe base big muff pie, deluxe big muff pie, double muff, <laughs> English muffin, germanium four big muff pie, G green Russian big muff, um, blue little, Russian little big, big muff. muff pie, purple big muff, Russian metal big muff. muff, micro metal muff, muff overdrive, nano base big muff pie, red, white, and blue big muff. Um, hold on one second. I think the Nano doesn't have the dry out. Okay, guys, I'm leaving Instead, now. Instead, it has a switch that you can Thanks for friendship, Cole. Cool. Right. Do a good job. Um, nano Big Muff Pie. Op Amp Big Muff Pie. Pocket Metal Muff. Sovtech Deluxe Big Muff Pie. Triangle Big Muff Pie. That's all of them. <laughs> it's like 10 or 11. That's too many. I mean, they're all... The thing about the Big muffs. Muff name is like some of them are just different flavors of like the Big Muff style thing. But then you have things like um, like Muff Overdrive. <laughs> like there's no way that sounds like a Big Muff. Like a regular one. And then there's like the the metal muff which is more like straight distortion and 
It's crazy. Muff Overdrive is what the heck? Reissue of the original 1969 Muff Fuzz, but it's a single knob. It's just volume. <laughs> That's it. Really? Yeah. It's just volume. I cannot imagine owning a pedal with one knob. Yeah, it's really weird. I know other people can, but like, I don't know. Well, I mean, me. I guess that's not true. Like, I can see it if it's just like a boost. I've had a boost with just a single knob and that's fine. Okay. But. Maybe I can't see myself owning a boost. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But if it's, then it's almost like, might as well just be like an always on kind of thing. Yeah, right. It's weird. Metal muff. <laughs> With top boost. It would be fun to get all of them together and just play all of them. <laughs> like one by one. And then just turn all of them on. Yeah, dude. And be like... <laughs> the thing about it is like it's, they're so compressed that it might not even be that bad. Really? Yeah, I feel like... You don't think it would sound like freaking know. Stat, dirty dirt static? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe you make a lot of noise. It's weird. Uh, have you have you ever owned a Big Muff? I owned one for like 30 seconds um, when I was like a couple years ago when I, when, uh, I said, okay, you guys keep... Talking about fuzz and how great it is. <laughs> Which fuzz should I try? And somebody, it wasn't, it wasn't the big ma. What? Which one was it? It was, it was in the nano enclosure, mm. and it was, but the, it wasn't. It wasn't the regular big muff man nano. Um. Well, is the is the regular one the one that's white? Yeah. Oh, then maybe that's yeah. that's what it was. The Big Muff Nano is white. The original, like the full size one, is silver, but the little one is white. Right. The Nano. Okay, that's. I think that's what it was. Yeah, and oh, I was I like, think I eh. remember that. But I see, like, eh. I had the big one okay. and I really liked it, and then I got the little one and I didn't like it. So, huh? I don't know. It it seems like really muddier, a little bit muddier to me. Who knows? It's an interesting circuit. I think, so uh, the Party Animal, have you played the Party Animal? I never have. So Isn't the Party weird? Animal has like this, the mid boost thing on it. And that makes such okay. a huge difference. Like in how it, even just playing it, not even with a band, but by itself, it just makes it so much easier to like, I don't know, just like, it just helps with note separation. And it's not just like a wall of, buzz you know yeah which big must can often be i feel like they're all harmonics almost and none of the original note is there <laughs> mm, okay it's like a weird thing even like did you, i don't know if i watched the um what's his name from smashing pumpkins was talking about it and how he would like set the fuzz level Oregon. not to how much fuzz it was but to like which harmonics were coming out and then that's like how he chose what to do for each song which is hmm. oh, that's interesting yeah that's cool it's crazy it's like not not the intent of the pedal but like yeah. he's getting cool things out of it yeah that makes sense i mean i understand like that's that's just somebody who's like actually sitting down and going what does this thing do right right like what are all of the things that this thing can do and then going, oh, that's really interesting. Uh -huh. I like that, even though it's like, yeah, maybe not, not it's designed or the way it's designed. Yes, exactly. Do you have more ads? No, it's just those three. Oh, dang. I'd like to say to all of our viewers out there, um, we have we have a few of you who support us financially, and oh, nice. We really, really appreciate that. Um, even though we promise very little, we 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 want to say, and we deliver. From, 
from the bottom of our cold, dark hearts, we thank you for appreciating what we do enough to give us money. And every once in a while, send you stickers or what else do we do for them? Um, patches sometimes. Yes. Um, patches. Yeah. Sticker Christmas cards. Once oh, a year. Christmas cards. They're really <laughs> Christmas good. Cards are... Yes. That's probably what we put the most effort into. <laughs> Discounts on t-shirts. Yeah. All kinds. If of you want to order one of our, t- by the way, how many t-shirts do you have? What sizes do you have? At your house, um, I think I have everything up to. I definitely have everything up to large, and I think that's it. Small, medium, large. Okay, so if if you are a size other, <laughs> one of the sizes of probably not our, <laughs> most of our listeners. Yeah. I'm assuming most of our listeners are extra large like and above. Most adult males are extra large and above. I would say in America. Yeah, but I feel for some reason I feel like we have a, <laughs> Our a lot of, like special. far above, <laughs> far above extra large. I, I, for some reason, that's just kind of what I've got in my head. I don't know. I mean, but some of um, our female listeners will probably fit into them. Okay, I believe we have two female listeners that I'm aware of. Oh, my wife is. Oh yeah. Okay, maybe three. Maybe three. Yeah, we'll see. Um. Anyway, yes. If you want a small, medium, or large of the classic og yeah dude t-shirt aaron yes. will send you one the original slogan t yeah um, here's another good thing about it is that supporting us is a good way to um kind of like do something that's not part that's not about money even though you're giving money you're not really getting anything back from it so <laughs> right you get to like just do something altruistic and not like Something that's it's non transactional, I would say. Which is well, nice. I feel like it feels good sometimes. The transaction is already made. We are already giving you the thing. Yes. And yeah, you are yeah. just telling us you appreciate it. Yeah, it's like on how you can do on like um Bandcamp or something like pay what you want. Yeah. It's like that. Like you can get it for free. Yeah. But if you exactly. appreciate it, then you can also pay for it. Right. And it's not like we're saying we really need your money because we need to pay for the cat bills of <laughs> our ex-wives. Our ex-wife cat bill. Our, our ex-wife cat bills. You, we, <laughs> we're not saying that. You know, just a, just a couple oh bucks gosh. here and there. Hey, no big deal. Um, what, what, do you remember the name where, of the, the actual um, URL for where they Patreon. can get t-shirts? Com. Oh, um, the no. other t-shirts. Some <laughs> thread, threadless.com. There's a gear slum. I don't, we have know, a... I don't know how to find us on there. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Search the gear slum on threadless.com. <laughs> this, maybe? Is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst Just plug. Like go on there. Search Just for us. start clicking around. Yeah, dude, you'll figure it out. First search the word slum. No, if you search gear slum, the first thing that comes up is, the snuggle is real. What? What does that mean? I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to try something. Threadless.com slash the gear slum. Oh, easy. When I type in gear slum t-shirt in Google, oh, in Google. the first thing is our... Um, there you go. Our page. So there you go. That's how easy it is. Look how easy it is. It's so easy. That's mm-hmm. not the first thing that comes up. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, because the actual URL is pretty long. Why, when I see, when, when you click on images, our shirts are there, but one of them, <laughs> there, then there's all these other short shirts that are not ours. Mm-hmm. One is called, one is Slumlord. Help me. Another one more. says, Help me, I'm poor. <laughs> Why is that mixed in with <laughs> with our stuff? Help me, I'm poor. I don't know, but that's funny. Help me, I'm poor. That's not our shirt. Don't. We're not recommending you buy that shirt. Please, oh please do not buy that one. I mean, buy it if you want, but don't buy it thinking that yeah, we don't, don't buy get it anything. Thinking out. That we endorse it. Yeah, we don't endorse that. 
We also don't endorse this one that says 108% tired. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does that mean? 108% tired. I have no idea. We That's got to be somebody's... Don't endorse straight out of slum lakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Did I tell you that uh, one of my students saw the sticker on my um, water bottle mm. and like kind of did a double take? And then I said, what? And she was like, she pointed at it and she goes, oh. And I said, what? And she goes, I thought that said gear slut. <laughs> Oops. Like, no. Is that a, that's a website though, right? Gear slut? I think, or like gear sluts. I don't want to. With a Z. I'm not looking it up. You can go ahead and look it up if you want. I know. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. It's like a thing. Maybe not a website, but something. So anyway, I don't think I brought up the t-shirts, not because I don't think we make, we might make a dollar or two, some mm. very small amount of money, but the t-shirts are, you it's know, a fun way to like be a part of the club. Yeah. Just represent. And then get, we've, we've had some of our viewers who own our t-shirts and then post pictures of themselves in uh various cool places and uh we appreciate that. Yeah, and if you get it in red, you can wear red for Ned on new episode days. Hmm. Right? Right? I guess. I don't know. Isn't that a thing that people do? Red Ned? Wear red for you... Ned? People have done that in our group. They'll post pictures of themselves oh, wearing I see a what red shirt when we post a new episode. It's like wear red for Ned. Wow, that is very inside baseball. Episode, but I, yeah. I'm I'm cool with it. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Maybe I should start doing that. You should. I've done it once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want one of those t-shirts, just message me and I can hook it up without having to go through Threadless. But that's the original the ones, original right? Ones, yeah. You're talking about the original ones. Which are really nice. I yes, I Those still have. I love had, mine. I had printed locally, and they're on really nice shirts. Those are yeah. good. They are. Um. Also, you can go on our Patreon and just give us cash. Did we say that already? Patreon dot com slash the Gear Slum. Oh, I don't think we said how we could do it. But yes, that's slum. a good point. Yes. Uh, you also get to go into a secret group where you can make fun of people <laughs> just kind of, and like <laughs> tell us things that you want us to hear. Yeah, um, and influence what's happening. It's good. There's a lot of dirt getting. We current. Hey, really interesting. That's more than I assumed. What? How many patrons we have at the moment? Uh, how many? Uh, we currently have thirty patrons. <laughs> yeah. Thirty patrons. You can become a patron for as little as two dollars a month. That sounds really like pitchy, but. Like that's the low. The low end is only two bucks a month, which is not. It's twenty four dollars a year. So it would yeah. take you four years, and four years would be ninety six. It take you four years and two months to pay a hundred bucks. <laughs> we might be dead by then. Mm hmm. But if you want to give more, you can, or if you want to give less, you can, or if you just want to like send us a nice message. Honestly, one of the best things is when this dude, Savanger, um, sends us emails because he's not on Facebook, but he just emails us like every once in a while. That's like mm -hmm. my favorite thing. So email us. Let us know that you're listening. It's yeah, fun. totally. It's fun for us. Yeah. Email Cole. Tell him how bad of a father he is for <laughs> forgetting about his son's <laughs> soccer game. <laughs> but the important thing is he cast his friends aside. That's true. To Cuz we all forget stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all do. I forget stuff all the time, but <laughs> <laughs> And on my worst, on my worst day when I forget stuff, I go, "Ah, eh, screw it. I'm not going <laughs> to ah, I'm not going to do whatever the thing I forgot." <laughs> I'm just not going to do that thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I just remembered I had to do that thing, but I'm not going to do it. 
But Cole rallied. I'm sure he put on pants. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. You never know. It's Utah. Yeah, what are the laws in Utah? I bet you can you drive around with no pants on in Utah? I bet viewers, we might not hear from Cole in a while. Just kidding. He, What's he the pants law in California? Do you have to wear pants when you're driving? I mean, you have to wear something, I, think so. I guess, when you're driving. Well, but, like, nobody would know. If you're wearing a shirt and you just no pants, covered. people wouldn't know, though. But, like, if you got pulled over... Yeah, if you got pulled over is the thing. Then, then I'm sure they could give you a ticket for, <laughs> like, indecent exposure. Even yeah, though, but you're listen, like, I'm not exposed. I'm in my private property. <laughs> you're yeah. exposing yourself to me. I know, but I think cars aren't considered... Um, it's it's your property, but it, I don't think it's it's not can it's not the same as your like your home, right? Like they don't need a search warrant to search your car. Well, they do, but no, they don't. They need like the probable cause thing is like oh probable cause, but no, like if it's locked, I think they do. Like if your trunk is locked, they have to have a warrant to search that or like a locked glove box. Are I, you sure? I learned this from a Jay Z song. <laughs> I thought the way it <laughs> I thought the way it worked is that cops like the way the law is written at least in California is like oh your tail lights out so I'm allowed to do like I'm allowed to pull you over because your tail lights out and now that I'm pulled you over I'm looking at your eyes and you seem like you might be high and so now I am allowed to search your car yeah you're probably right it's, I thought it was something like that cause but which is like it's BS. It's garbage. But like, yeah, it's easily I'm abused. pretty sure that's the way. And it doesn't work that way for your home, right? But but they're not pulling you over, I guess. That's anyway, true. I, but I mean, I, I bet you if they like saw you run into your house <laughs> doing something crazy, that they could get in. <laughs> Let's see. What does he say? It says. Have I, have I told you about the time I was 19 and I got pulled over in front of my own home? No. I was driving home late at night. I can't remember where I was coming from, maybe work or something. And it was like it was like 1, 2 in the morning and I was 19 and uh, and I was driving and I turned the corner onto my street and a cop pulled up behind me. Mm. And then... He's riding like, and it's like a, you know, neighborhood street and he's, and he's riding like very close to me. And I was like, oh, this is annoying. And then I pull up to my house and it's my house. So I pull over. Right. And he hasn't put on his lights or anything, you know, the, you know, red and blue, but he's, but then I pull over in front of my house and I'm thinking they've got a freaking computer. Like, have you run my play? Like, this is my address, you know, like. I, I don't know if they didn't or if they just didn't care. Uh. But so then I pulled over and then the second I pulled over, then they turned on all their floodlights, <laughs> but not their red and blues. Uh. And so then when he turned on those, then I felt like nervous, like, oh, I'm I'm supposed to wait. Like, you know what I mean? Like I should wait. Like don't get out. Yes, yeah. exactly. So I've got my hands at like 10 and two <laughs> and I'm, and and it's super blinding and I'm looking and I'm not, I'm not seeing like any movement. They're not like approaching the car and they haven't said anything to me. And so, and it was like, again, it's like two in the morning. Mm. So then I was like, I guess I should get out of the car and walk into my house. But I was like getting nervous. Like, am I going to do something that's going to like provoke them? Right. Mm. Like, and I'm trying to think like, okay, what's the procedure that I'm supposed to do? And then because I was sitting there and they hadn't approached the car, I was like, okay, I guess I, I'm going to get out of the car. So I opened the door like super slow and I like made sure my hands were like visible, <laughs> you know, like yeah. I put my hands out and then I got out of the car like really slow. And then I stood there cause I expected them to say something or do something and they didn't still floodlights on me so and they're weird. silent. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, this is annoying. Like they know now, like they're just being jerks yeah right so then i start to walk up to 
my house and I get um, halfway up the lawn and then over the thing he goes, he goes, um, where are you coming from? Like over his like, they're like PA thing. Or not PA, what is it yeah, called? Yeah. They're um, Like the loud speaker, whatever. That bullhorn. And I was like, work? <laughs> and he goes, is this your house? And I go, yes. And again, I turned around and it was like floodlights. I couldn't uh, see anything. And I go, I go, yes. And he goes, well, then you should get inside then. What? And I was like, okay. So then I turned and I like walked up. And then I'm like taking out my keys and now I'm like kind of nervous and <laughs> and I'm like and I and I like had to fidget with the the keys to get to get them in the lock and I was like, "Oh my gosh, he's going to shoot me in front of my house." <laughs> and then I like unlocked the door and then and then when I got into my house, then for some reason like like I felt this flood of like just sort of like anger uh, and resentment. Yeah. Like I don't know, there was a weird like safety of like literally being inside my house. And so then I turned around and gave him the super sarcastic wave. <laughs> and then I closed the door. <laughs> I was like, "What the? What was that? <laughs> That's crazy." Like it was like, "Okay, you're bored." Yeah, I guess. I guess. That's so. Weird. But I don't know what he expected to happen. First of all, he could have looked up my name and like, "Oh, this person lives at this address." But he didn't like know. ever come up and talk to you, right? No, never got out of the car. <laughs> never got out of the car. He had the lights. He and he never turned on the the red and blue lights. It was all. It was only the like big giant flood ones. Really. So he didn't technically pull you over. Uh, right. Yes. That's so weird. That is so weird. Why would you do that? I, I, I don't know. Like, first of all, it's not that amusing. Like, yeah. Like, like on his end, like if it was like literally sort of like a, you know, super troopers kind of thing of like, oh, let's screw with this guy. Yeah. Like on their end, like it wasn't, I don't see anything that's like fun or enjoyable. It was just like, oh, let's see if we make this guy nervous. Like, yeah. well, yeah, I was nervous. <laughs> like, okay, you achieve that. I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, we love cops. <laughs> we love them. <laughs> love them all. Don't ever get pulled over by the cops, people. Next episode, I'll tell my my good fun cop story. <laughs> <laughs> why you love them? Yeah, why? Well, not why I love them, but like something because that that. The story I just told isn't why I hate all cops. It's just why I hate that particular cop, right, right. whoever he is. Right. But then I have a a really funny, fun cop story. About why you hate the rest of them. <laughs> no, it's about why. And I, <laughs> I just like to tell it because I don't want anybody to think, oh, I'm one of those like morons who hates all cops. Right. Because I think that's stupid. Mm-hmm. But... To know. hate all cops, like, just seems really dumb. Yes, to hate all people who are police officers is dumb. It's prejudice is what it is. <laughs> yeah. You can hate, like, the idea of police without hating all cops. That's true. I guess you can. The idea of police? Who hates the idea of police? A lot of people. Well, that's bad. You can't hate the idea. If we didn't have police, it would be like freaking... It'd be anarchy. It would be like The Walking Dead, but without zombies. But The Walking Dead has police. What? Well, Rick's a sheriff. Okay, but no longer <laughs> is he's not. <laughs> but why not? I well because the the institution is gone. But what That's is the, the institution? Point. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what I'm talking about, guys. I know you're. This was actually a fun episode. <laughs> Cole should leave more often. <laughs> 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 I had fun at least. I one? had a good time. All right. You good? We're going to end this. Thanks for friendship. Thanks for friendship. Mm-hmm.